Hi guys, welcome back. Now I want to show us how to best the easiest method you will use to fold and cut your abada for both for the adults and for the kids. It is the same folding processes. The only difference is the measurement or the parameter you have. So right here, as I was mentioning my boy, I saw that the shoulder was 30. Now this shoulder is inclusive of the sleeve plus the real shoulder, right? So uh, like now, if you know that the, the real shoulder is 10, if you're not 10 from 30, that means 20. That means the abada is going to be more or less a long sleeve for him, right? That, that is the reason I use an inner arm, an inner aspect of short sleeve. You can still make use of long sleeves, real senator inside. It doesn't really matter. So, but then I want to show us how best you can cut this and then um, proceed to the complete processes. So, right here, you have my material left. So, the yard, the yards I have here is um, up to two yards for my boy. And then you fold into two, bring the two edges this way, fold into two, right? Now make sure all your markings must be done on the wrong side of the outfit. Don't mark on the front of the fabric. So when you have folded into two this way now, then you align it properly. Then before I proceed, you must have noticed that I measured only the shoulder and the abada length. Right? Now I don't measure the chest, the round sleeve, or the neck, these are the only two areas you need to measure for your abada, both for adults and for kids. So right here, after you must have folded in this form, the next thing you will do now, bear in mind that the abada, abada doesn't have joining of any sort or any form. You might be allowed to join the abada if the material wasn't enough maybe brocade that was 45 length or width, then you might now have to be very careful and neat in your joining. But if you happen to have a fabric that is up 60 inches by width or by length, make sure you don't join your abada. The joining might be for fanciful nature or because of the material wasn't enough, then you can proceed to join. But a real abada doesn't have any form of joining. So right here, you have your folding done this way. Now, the folded edge will be the shoulder area. Then, you double fold again. Now, this time around, this, fold, this folding now, we take bearing from the shoulder measurement you have by two. That's the other by two. Then we have 30 here. That means 30 by two is 15. So the folding should cover 15 inches and then plus extra inch you will use to fold the sides opening of the abada itself. And for adults, I'm usually four inches extra, but for my boy, I will use them um, three inches or three and a half for him. So three inches plus um, 15, 15 is 18. So my folding must cover 18 inches. So you have to keep on adjusting until you get your desired folding. So 18 inches is the maximum inch I will get now for him. So um, 18. Adjusting until you get at point 18. So I have gotten point 18, and it's very much okay for me, right? Now, this 18 comprises of the shoulder measurement by 2 plus extra 3 inches, which we got at 30, the total length of the shoulder by 2 is 15, plus 3. The 3 inches, bear in mind that it's on fold, that means it's now 6 inches on both, si uh, on both sides. But on one side, it's 3 inches per one side, that's 6 inches. So right here, you have gotten your folding and your border length by 2. Your border length, the other by 2, which is now 15, right? Then plus three, 3 inches for your folding allowance, right? Then make sure that all your markings must start from a straight base. All your markings must start from a straight base. Then when you have your marking done properly this way, then you are now going to apply the abada length, which we had at 23. So 23 is the length, then 23. Then bear in mind that the length is 23, which happens to be the real length. And then bear in mind that you are meant to fold the length as well. So what else do you need to do? I like making 
the width of the side folding and the down to tally so that it will be synchronized. Don't fold three inches at the side and fold one inch at the down, it will make sense because the down as well needs to have a form of and weight to help balance the outfit of the down side. Then bear in mind that if you are going to use another material inside of the arm rim of your abada, you don't need to put these three inches at the width. You have to put one and a half or two inches and then bring your desired material which you want to be showing inwards when you fold it outside to come out and cut at that three inches and then sew and then push inside. But then this will be more understandable when we proceed to the coupling processes which I will show you on the coupling part of the video. But for now, let me the video to the cutting aspect. So when you have gotten this basic knowledge now, then the length was 23. Then remember that we use 23, in, um, we use 3 inches as well in the folding of the size. That means 23 plus 3 is 26. So I'm going to make use of 26 inch length. So I, I added 3 inches. Whatever you add at the side, please add it at the downside. 26 inches is what I have marked now. Then you must make sure that all your markings start from the folded edge. Don't mark and cut from here. Well, if you cut from here, you will now have the side, the shoulder to be opened. So you have to mark your 23 inches, 26 inches from this, from the top, this way, and then bring it down. Then you have it at um, 26, right? Yeah, don't make this mistake. From the upside, 26. So you have your length to be here. You have your length to be here. Then when you have gotten it now, you now divide your um, shoulder by 2, which is um, 30 by 2, 15, right? Then 15 plus 3 is 18. So you mark at 18. Mark at 18. So you will mark 18 both on the shoulder side and on the down area of the outfit, 18 inches. Mark it properly, 18 inches, so that you have a straight line to make sure that your border is synchronized. Then when you have gotten your markings properly, it's advisable that you cut off the edge now, for you to have it in a block form, so that you'll be sure of the nature of what you are doing. Be in mind that we are cutting both the front and the back together. It's advisable that you cut it off this way, so that you'll be limited to the aspects of the, of the area of the material meant for the abada itself. Then when you have gotten the exact width and the length you want, then your success to abada is already there. Then, be in mind that, like I told us, the abada must have an embroidery. Yeah, except on some cases where you have a fanciful material you might want to use to, to um, to put in place of the embroidery, right? But if you don't have, you must make embroidery on it. And then depending on your locality, embroidery is a bit expensive, then you make inquiries on how much it is on your locality. So right here, now bear in mind that the measurement we used on the main outfit inside was 1.75 for the width. Now, because of the fact that I want the abada itself um, to be a bit wider than the main outfit so that the real outfit will be showing from outside, then I have to make sure that the width was measurement of the abada is a bit bigger than the neckline measurements. Bear in mind that the neckline we had was a fitted neck cutting and the abada cannot be fit if you are, are trying to make the inside to show. But then in some cases, some customers or some designs or choices might um, make you to have the neck of the abada and then outfit as well to tally. That means you have to duplicate whatever you use on the neck width to, to cut on the abada itself. But for here now, we made use of um, 1.75 on our main senator outfit to cut our abada. So for my boy, I'm going to make use of 2.2. Um, I'll make it to be a bit wider, not too much, not too tight as well. 2.2 width for the cutting. And then, bear in mind that at this stage, you must be very careful of the neck cutting so that you will not spoil the whole 
outfit you have been battling with all this while. So what then I'm actually saying next sense is that once the material is unfold, make sure that you cut the back neck first. Why? Reason being that the back neck is always higher or smaller than the depth of the front. So even though you cut the back neck, it, you can still record for the front. Be mind that the front and back are folded here. So what then do you need to do? The back neck depth for grown ups is one inch. For um, kids is half an inch. Half an inch, very important. Then you mark half an inch this way. And then use your scissors and cut the back neck together with the front folded, right? Cut it this way. Now you have gotten the back neck cutting and the cutting was done on both the front and the back, no problem. Then take the side this way, notch the center, very important. Notch the center of the outfit, that's notch the folding, right? So you know where the center falls or you can iron. After you have notched, come at the hand side as well, notch here so that you also know where the center falls, right? Notch it. Then you have to open it up. Hmm? Open it up this way. Now this is what the nature you'll be seeing, right? This is how it should look like on your outfit. Then be in mind that there's no how you will cut an uneven neck when folded. You must open it up and draw the neckline you want and then you place and cut. So what I'm trying to say in a sense is that once you have cut the curve this way or the over shape this way, open it up, make one part the front and make one the back, right? Then because of I'm going to replicate the regular nature of our neck, which is in this form. I'm replicating the, the regular abada neck, which has this form, this shape. Now, this is the neck area. This is the design embroidered area, right? So this is the neckline I'm going to I'm replicate. So if you are going to replicate the same neckline I have, you go ahead to do this. But if you're going to replicate a different neckline, you now determine how best you can go about your neckline. So right here, I have my neck width to be here. So you extend the line from this point extend it this way, extend this as well, this way. This is the simplest way you can achieve a perfect abada neck. Then, having gotten to this point, now the, the deepest part of the neck will be 6 inches from the center fold, 6 inches, right? That you must make sure that the deepest part is up to 6 inches, minimum. Then you can start to make it 7 inches or 8 inches, depending on what you want. So I'm going to make it to be 7 inches, the deepest part, 7 inches, right? So I will stop at 7 inches so that it, no, it, it won't be too open for my boy. And then for the highest point, I always advise to use half of whatever you use here to make the, the other um, shorter part. So from this point now, since I use 7 inches here, I'll make it of 3.5, right? So from this, from this point, you connect to your 7 inches in this direction. So I will now cut here open and then I will take it to embroidering, right? Now, the embroidering person or designer will now design the areas for me and then I will have my abada perfectly finished. So I will cut it now and then show you how it looks like on the board. So I will cut this way, cut this way. This is the simplest method you can use to cut your neck without having much issues. And you, you all know that there's no how I could have folded my material this way and cut in this uneven shape. So let's cut the boy and put it on him and see how it, it, it looks like on him. Okay. So right here, let's check what you have cut on our boy. Then this is the front. You remember what I told you that you must use? Then you put it on on him, in this one, right? So this is the nature of the abada outfit we have. I'm going to take the camera. See, see the camera. Now this is how it looks for him. Now the inside outfit will now cover up the areas and then you now go about the embroidering and then the finishing of the abada itself. And then at the end of the day, when you, when you progress to the final finishing, you have this to be a perfect outfit 
for your body. And bear in mind that this method I use is peculiar to me, and then you can as well try to make use of other methods you have seen. So this is how it will look on him, and then I will go and process the burden and everything, and then get back to us in the popular video. Thank you for watching. Jeff, say bye to camera. Say bye. Yeah, bye.